Hello, welcome to a new section on our SAP. In this section, we are going to discuss about requester in SAP. The requester tool in WhatsApp is used for manually crafting and sending SGP requests to analyze responses, make it is useful for security testing and penetration testing. Here are some common security testing cases you can check that are test for authentication bypass, insecure API, and finally broken access control. So using requester, you can check these cases. So I will switch to SAP and I will demonstrate how to do that. So um, take the manual export tab and exploring one target URL. So I am launching that application. So that will intercept our SAP. Then I will demonstrate one scenario here for checking requester feature. It's locking. Okay, so once it navigate to this page, log to login under the valid username and password, click on login. So I capturing the login request into SAP. Yes, it's logged in. So you can visible the logout button over here okay so i am successfully captured the request of login so our next step is to check the request feature so i am expanding the our application folder on create our site tree and this is the request of login you can see the password and username okay so Identify the request or uh, SGP request you want to perform the requester feature or set the, for that you need to click on the post request of the HTTP request and right click and you can see the option open recent with the request editor click on that so you can see open the manual request editor window here we perform these actions so here you can see two tabs request tab and one another is response tab in request tab you can see the header part and on downside you can see the parameters that is the body so you can change the methods you or need to work suppose you can change this to post put and get delete connect any any method you can choose here and perform send action okay so you can change the header header you can now it is in text format you can change into exa and table format okay then right now it change to text and body you can change into table or text okay right now i change into table in advance okay and you can see the username password etc okay once you send you can get the response okay so we'll check that one when i send you get the response so it is the header body and this is the response body okay so here also you can change into exa and the header and body okay so suppose you are check the label logout button is there then you can confirm the application is logged in yes and find out the logout label in response so it successfully logged in okay so this is the scenario we can perform by using the requester so what are the other things we can perform you can modify the headers and body okay for that you can click on headers and modify the user agent to mimic different browsers okay you can modify the headers part and body part and send the request and verify the response okay so add remove authentication tokens if you checking application having this other authorization token part is there you can remove or modify or modify the cookie session ids okay you can perform that and post change the 
type as post put delete okay and modify the request parameters inject malicious payloads like for the sql injection xss etc and for coming to the analysis the response we need to check whether it is 200 okay or or not 3 forbidden or 500 internal server you can check the response status code and look for vulnerability error message data leakage anything is there or analyze the header for security issues anything and inspect the response body for sensitive data leakage okay so these are the things we can check in analysis the response of the requester is producing so i'm switched to sap i'm taking the, the request and i will demonstrate one scenario if i change the password into or one two three or user i change to admin admin and try to access the page so you can send the request and verify the response if it is still logged in then it is vulnerable so i search for logout so if the string is not found that means if the login is not have uh, work work here i change the request in here user into admin mode so it is check the authentication part so uh, that case you can check in your application okay so i change the parameter on body if you change the session id here okay i giving some value random value and i'm changing to back into user so i'm giving valid username but giving a wrong session id so what will be the response you can check this again logged in or not you can check by the any word is there logout is not there so it is working perfectly in your case you can check this modify the values uh, and coming to another scenario you can change this into another browser name okay and uh, coming to the coming to the different header value you can change and verify the responses okay and here you can see coming to response 500 is getting so any vulnerable data is and sensitive data is displaying or not you can check it over here okay so here you can see the exceptions from our code okay so we can check in different parameters value in header we can change into request so that we can check the any vulnerability in your application so you can check in these cases in your application and find out any vulnerability is there in your application hope you enjoyed this section thank you for watching